Right, I'm going to swap hands in a minute. Let's get through the gate. Swap hands, yo. And then we go down here. Not far from the... Well, I say that we're not far. Um, might still be far. I don't know. I've forgotten how long it takes me to do this. I've forgotten. It's just, what it is, I just, so many memories of Holford, Holford Green, that when I did, um, in October I, I came to Holford Green after doing the higher hair nap con, sat on the bench and had a little bit, it was busy I think, so I didn't stay long, there was some sort of event going on, running thing, but I did manage to get a seat for a little while. But there have been other occasions, well, like I did West Bagborough in March, so I didn't even come this side of the Quantox. So I stayed at the base over the other side, which I wanted to do. I wanted to do West Bagborough and Crocombe and Triscombe. I passed through that side, which I also like, but Holford is very, very special very special because it goes back to my very young childhood brought here by family for picnics brought here by my junior school came out here with later with family and friends introduced friends to this place i have been out here just a few times with my own zara a couple of years back um, Georgia a couple of years back I haven't been out here with Duncan and Jolene since they were very small but you're talking about um, I don't know 35 years I'm a solo walker and I don't mind being one because if it allows me to reflect and heal when I've got lots of worries um, and I can confess things to myself as well. But it's still going on. Actually, no, I can see the pound now, the old dog pound. We're nearly there now. <sighs> yeah. I can do my own confession. <laughs> but like I said before, I've got older legs now. Now and again, my breathing plays up. Sometimes more than now and again. And I, lo I don't like to rush. Now, when I was younger, of course, I, I used to run everywhere. And I would walk fast. I would march. But I don't anymore. But I'm still younger members of the family who like walking like that. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. And I've taken pictures of the dog pound loads of times. And it's all tied up with the family that owned Old Foxton at some point. Because don't forget, when Wordsworth stayed at Old Foxton, he rented, he didn't own it. And he didn't stay there for, I think it was two years he stayed there. And Coleridge, of course, was up over at Nether Stowey living. Well, let's just have a quick look at it again. This is what they call the dog pound. I don't know if they put the hounds in here when it was hunting. I'm not sure.
Yeah, I don't know. Solid, isn't it? Solid. It might have had a roof on it as well. Or it might not have. Why then? I don't know. I'm going to keep it back. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be hot. Is it? Yeah. It's going to be hot. I always take pictures of it. That's the emblem of the landowner, John Lancet Brereton. This ancient dog pound was given to the village of Holford in is it 1982 or 1892 for the family of the late John Lancelot Brereton. Yeah. Oh, near a dog. Right, we're carrying on folks. We're nearly in at the green now. We just gotta go close to a stream where the old Huguenots came. Remember the Huguenots, the weavers? Lots of them came to our country and lots of them came here for the water to power their we their, their looms. And there's still ruins further down in the coombe there, which I haven't totally explored, but I've seen them when I've done different walks, so down in that coombe there. Yeah. It's a quite a nice stream and there's a bridge across the stream there. It's all rather nice. I'm looking forward to the bench. I hope it's free. Do you? <laughs> I hope so. Is it here? This could be it, folks. This could be Holford Green. Could be taken. People do come here. I can see one bench is free. Two benches are free. Oh, here's my beautiful green, everyone. And there's the cottage. With the top part of the door open. Now I'm going to sit in the shade. There's two benches. I might sit on the middle one. There's that one. And there's this one. And there's an open one. There we go. So here I am sitting on the Holford Green bench. Here I am at Holford Green on a beautiful May day. Never, never even walked that. We can't stay long though. Time. Gotta go and get a bus. Oh. Over and out for a minute, folks. I've had my little picnic on the bench. Cheese, jelly. I've got some crisps in my pocket. Orange. And I've got bits and pieces. 
But this is where we used to come with the school here. We'd all meet here. And then we'd make our way up there. I've just come down from that way. I've put my jumper on for a while. It's a little bit on the nippy side. But, and we're going into a wooded area where it might be, and it was breezy at the top there, wasn't it? I suppose I'll take it off later. I'll put it around my waist. So, this is Sheila on the 20th of May on one of her walks. And um, camera in hand. There's the Kodak. It was already needed charging, it only took photos, I didn't even do a video with it. Yeah. Lovely little cottage, it's always been there ever since I remember. And there's uh, the lovely benches, known to my sister Jude. And I can hear how such children here with a school, lots and lots of children. Mm. Glad it's still here, it hasn't changed. There might be a new bench, my benches might be new, but um, it's still the same place. I never got any pictures from childhood apart from with my dad when we went up the coombe. I haven't got any with the school or anything. I don't know if any teachers ever took any. But, um... No, there's no sort of... I mean, they might have... If I contacted the school, they would probably have an album somewhere. So I keep meaning to contact the school, actually. To see if I can get some more information about my time there. Now my secondary school was uh, almost pulled, well it was pulled down, it's uh, been rebuilt as a junior school a long time ago now, but um, yeah, they probably have got some memories of that. Mr Burton was our, my class teacher for a while and he was really in, and he lived over near the snowy and he loved this place. And I, I, I really got on well with him because he knew I loved all this sort of thing. And this is this, this gentle walk up after we leave the green and the cottage. Is that taking a picture or not? Yeah, I think so. Once we leave the cottage, and we, wait, we have a gentle walk up past various residential some new-ish or been done up. Um, and I'm not going to rush the actual walk up through because um, it's a special place for me. We'll put our foot down when we get to Bicknoll. <laughs> we might have to. Somebody come in, I'm just going to turn off a minute. 